Hey everybody and welcome to vlog number seven of my stay here in Iceland. So uh, I made myself a little list here on my iPad about some things that I want to talk about with you guys. And uh, as you can hear, I uh, still I still have a pretty bad cold. Um, this past week, I actually got pretty sick. I managed to catch a flu. Luckily, I didn't have to throw up or anything else. I just was. Uh, had a really bad cough and just a cold in general, and also just a headache, so I had to stay home a couple of days, or at least just on Wednesday afternoon, just taking it easy, and afterwards it kind of got worse. So luckily I still managed to go out on uh, Monday and Tuesday and follow my classes. Uh, on Wednesday morning I had a presentation, uh, again, for uh, my vampire course, uh, which went pretty good. It went pretty well, so I'm pretty pleased about that. But afterwards, I got I got pretty sick, so I don't have a lot of video material or anything. Just some material of me kind of being sick. Uh, I did go out a couple times, and I made some videos of that. So, uh, but I have a lot less pictures than I usually have. But I will do my best to uh, make up for that for next week. So, uh, from the things that I want to talk about um, is basically my school for a little bit, uh, how it is going, and also the assignments that I had to hand in last week and also the coming weeks. So, for school itself, it's actually going pretty alright. Uh, as I said last time, I still have a little bit of trouble actually focusing on things. Uh, that's still an ongoing problem, and I'm really trying to get it back on track. It's just something I haven't done in a while, I guess, because I've been just busy teaching. So you don't really have to focus on assignments or essays or anything else. Um, so I'm trying to keep that back on track. Uh, I made a new start with a, a group assignment that I have to do with a couple classmates. So hopefully, uh, it being a, a shared project, I'll manage to. Uh, carry my part of that project. Now for my assignments I actually managed to get one of my grades back uh, which was an 8.5 out of 10. Uh, I am really 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 happy about this because I was so worried about how the grading system worked in this country and how strict they were on this or are on this uh, university. Um, so yeah, an 8.5 out of 10 is just absolutely amazing. Like they, I understood they grade things here from a scale of 5 being a pass and then everything above that is always better. Um, that's as far as I understood, like I had to look it up. But I'll take it as I get it and I am really, really happy about this. Uh, this grade is actually for my course about uh, how to teach adolescents a second language. So it is related to a course that courses that I followed in Holland as well, and uh, the feedback I managed to get on there is actually really nice. It kind of points out the same things I already know, which is kind of my uh, theoretical underpinning of my work, which isn't always as easy. I always try my best, but it's uh, it's pretty hard to do. Um, now further the weather. Uh, it has been really on and off this week. Uh, you'll see in the video footage that in the first couple of videos uh, there is a lot of snow falling and just storming. Uh, but yesterday it was just awful, awful weather and everything melted away again. And um, it was all the ice was gone and it was just raining and windy and stormy. So. For Valentine's Day, that weather was just absolutely awful. Though today, let me check once again, it actually snowed today. Maybe I can actually show you guys. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Let me see if I can get my iTunes out of the way. There we go. All the cables. Sorry for the wobbly sights. Uh, that was my phone. It's fine. Let me see. So, 
as you might see, there's a little bit of snow out. Uh, not as much as there was a couple of last days. Let me put this back again. My mouse also fell, so excuse me for a moment. So yeah, as you can see, there's uh, quite a little bit of snow. Not as much as there was the past days, but um, it's uh, still pretty nice. It also means that um, probably tomorrow there will be a little bit of ice on the ground because this will probably freeze up again and then uh, you will end up being slippery. So I have to be careful about that. Uh, luckily, I am feeling better, so I can follow my classes. I don't have to skip anything, so that's that's good. As I mentioned, yesterday was actually really bad weather for Valentine's Day. Um, talking about Valentine's Day in itself, I kind of wanted to announce a little thing on here. Uh, I actually, uh, since pretty recently, actually, I managed to get into a relationship with uh, two very nice, uh, wonderful people. And um, those are those German friends I talked about a couple of vlogs ago. Uh, and yes, you heard it right. It were two people. It means like we're in a poly amorous relationship, which means we basically are loving each other. But then just with the three of you, which is really, really nice. Of course, I can go in really deeply into this whole subject and everything. But I managed to have a really nice time with them. Uh, they do not live here or are here right now. They I actually met them through Skype and everything, and uh, yesterday we just had very nice phone calls and talks, and uh, yeah, I, I really like that. So it's only pretty recent that I um, met them and also got into a relationship with them, and you might think that might be really fast for something, but I know for an instance that if you have a certain click or a certain feeling with people that you can't just let that go and pass. So I took that moment and I decided that this was good and that this is a really nice thing that we're having here. And uh, I'm, I'm truly happy actually. Um, so yeah, a thing that also happened last night or better said this morning, uh, my nights have been pretty long again. Um, I got a pretty bad case of homesickness. I uh, I really I really miss my home and I miss them and I miss my family and I miss just every everything. And uh, that's along while listening to some sad music. It always helps out. But I I had a I had a pretty bad yesterday and uh, you could even say that I felt just uh, pretty awful about it and. Uh, but I, uh, I I needed a little I needed a little moment for that. Uh, luckily, I managed to talk with Johanna and with uh, with my two uh, my two friends to uh, discuss that. But even today, I still kind of I still miss them, and uh, hopefully, I'll be able to talk to them maybe tonight or tomorrow. I really did want to talk with my uh, my dad and my brother, who aren't really available a day. Um, the day uh, uh, on weekdays because they're working. But yeah, I I I really miss my family, and because uh, it's it's really hard. Like I've never been away from my place for this long in my life ever. And I'm I'm now 21. I've never been away for this long ever, and it makes you realize. Um, how hard it actually is. For I always talked in my life about how I wanted to move away from from Holland and wanted to live somewhere else. And I, I was sure I would miss my family. Sure, you would miss your family, but now you actually realize how that is. And even though I have the like the prospect of getting home in four and a half months, you you still really miss them, and it's really hard. And you, you just you kind of miss the interaction with, with those people, and it, it stays your family, you know, you, you, you miss them. So yeah, yesterday I got a, a pretty bad case of, uh, of that, and uh, it was hard to get through that one. 
So that's why I'm also talking about that with you guys. That's uh, because because the, these vlogs aren't just for me or my friends or my family. These are also just for people or for you guys who who are interested in staying in Iceland, who want to move to Iceland, and they want some information about that. Of course, I'm just here rambling about my own life and my own experiences, and everybody experiences it differently. And even though I'm here staying with a friend and not really in an apartment struggling to pay rent, um, I really hoped that this, that these videos help you get a perspective on how living here is, uh, and yeah, even that, that that also gives you like the part of me being homesick and missing my family because most likely it's also gonna happen to you guys. I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but there's a pretty good chance it will. So. And as I also said, um, that homesickness it just comes kind of out of nowhere. You don't really know where it's coming from. It just it suddenly hits you and you feel kind of sad and lonely. And um, in my case, I was also listening to some music and uh, this song that I was listening to is called, let me see, uh, Everything's Alright from uh, Laura Shigihara. That song is just absolutely beautiful and I'm actually thinking of covering it myself so I might look up some chords or actually sheet music and play it on the keyboard that I have here because I like that song so much and it kind of kind of hits home right now um, and I'm actually thinking of maybe covering it even though I do not have the, the really good uh, recording setting set up here or at home I don't know but I might just use my iPad. It has actually a pretty decent microphone in it. Um, and make a, a small music video of that and also put it on my channel. So, yeah, I, I'm really thinking of doing that. I just made a couple of test shots uh, a moment ago. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to that song so you guys can listen to it because it's just, it's so beautiful. Also, just the lyrics in general, it's, it's, it's really good. And uh, I would like for you guys to, to also listen to that and just think for a moment on uh, where you are in your life and just think about your family and how you are doing. And yeah, take, take a little moment like that. But coming from this somewhat depressing subject, let me just get a little bit less down to earth and a little bit more bubbly because I was a little bit maybe too emotional, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I said, I was kind of sick so I don't have a lot of footage, but uh, I'll just point you out to the next parts of the video, well, more that way, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you all next week. So, I'll see you all around, and uh, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Stay safe, hug your family, hug your pets, hug your loved ones, hug someone, um, and do remember that you're never truly alone. So, I'll see you all around. See you! Good morning, everybody! It's snowing! <laughs> Everything melted away. And, uh, yeah, I'm just walking to school in the snow. Show your surroundings, everything is turning white again. But uh, as you can see, I'm wearing my new scarf and my new hat, and my makeup is looking pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna make my way to school. It is nasty weather, and uh, hopefully, I will be picked up by a snowstorm. So I'll see you all. Just a quick update. Bye! Guys, look at all of this. It's just absolutely storming right now. What a bloody smoke. Stand still. See, everything is coming from after me. I'm just making my way to school. It's pretty dang early. 
But uh, yeah, this has been happening. Everything had melted away two days ago. And now everything is back. Just freshly fallen snow. Everywhere. I guess. Have a little bit of a sample of Iceland in the morning. It's about 8.15 or maybe now 20. It's a little bit late. Class starts at 30. So yeah. I'll see you guys. Everybody, uh, welcome to day three of week seven. I am completely lost when it comes to those days now. Um, as you can see, I'm home and I'm sitting in my bed right now, so it kind of made it wobbly. I'm sorry about that. Um, I decided to give you guys a little update uh, through the laptop instead of my phone uh, because, well, uh, as you might come here a little bit when as I'm completely wrapped up, I am starting to get sick. Now, you might actually remember from a previous video that I mentioned that, uh, that everybody here is getting sick as well, that just, it's not going like there around, and I actually heard there's some kind of super flu going around or something. Just everybody's getting really sick and coughing and all that kind of stuff, and uh, I'm also starting to catch that. So sadly, I won't be going to class in the afternoon. I did just have my uh, lecture uh, this morning because I had to present, so I had to be there. Uh, I couldn't let my group just be there and do the thing that I was supposed to do. So uh, I went this morning and uh, got a little bit of footage from the snowstorm. Uh, it was snowing really, really hard this morning, and uh, yesterday as well. Like if you if you check my Facebook page, um, which is just simply my name, uh, Miss Um you find a, a video that I shared uh, of just how quickly the weather changed yesterday. I wanted to film it, but I was kind of busy with an assignment that I had to finish for today, which I luckily managed, and I just sent it out. So. For now, I won't have deadlines, so that's pretty nice. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little update because I've been neglecting you guys a little bit. So um, hopefully, I'll feel better tomorrow. Uh, I won't have class or anything, but we're actually uh, planning on going to the tattoo parlor uh, to make a uh, appointment or at least get a design right because I am planning on getting a tattoo here on my wrist. Um, I'll let you guys know uh, what kind of design it's going to be probably in the beginning part of uh, next weekend's video. Uh, the tattoo is not going to happen for at least a month because uh, it's still pretty expensive and I need to save up a little bit for, uh, for such a thing and of course it's kind of scary but uh, I've been wanting to have a tattoo or at least a design that I have in mind for uh, more than a year so uh, I think taking a tattoo here in, in Iceland is actually uh, a very good moment to to get it. So, yeah, if uh, if I'm feeling alright and if Johanna is feeling up to it, so uh, tomorrow we're going to to Paulo to uh, make an appointment and get some design ideas. And uh, yeah, uh, further, I don't have that many plans. Uh, I just really have to see how my body is doing, like for the past two days I woke up with kind of a headache and now my body is just aching all over. Uh, I don't have the flu officially, but I feel that if I start pushing myself right now, I will actually end up being really sick and I'm not in the mood for that. So I'll just skip today's class and uh, yeah, I'll just play catch up next week. Luckily I have uh, pretty good contact with my classmates uh, in the class. So uh, I'll be able maybe to get some notes um, since uh, well, we're also making a good project together. So hopefully, we'll get some over like that. So I'll be here, kind of sickish uh, today. I'm also gonna play a little bit of catch up with my homework. Uh, gonna watch a couple of vampire movies, which is very nice homework. But gonna watch a couple of movies. Uh, first of all, Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula. 
and uh, then followed up following by um, was it Vampire Diet? Interview with a Vampire. That was it. Yeah. Ugh, vampire Diet is horrible. Anyway, um, yeah, gonna watch the Vampire Diaries. I also need to read that book for next week, so. I might actually start doing that as well. I'm just gonna take it easy, I'm gonna sit here in my comfy bed and make my scarf. And, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, I'll be a bit better uh, tomorrow and the day afterwards, because I'm not in the mood to get sick, especially not as sick as uh, Johanna and Stella were, because uh, they were coughing so hard that I was with my they actually curled. So, like, I, I have the cough right now, but. Mm, I'm just really hoping I won't turn as sick as they are. Hopefully my uh, immune system will help me with that. So yeah, just a, a quick little update, which turned out a little bit longer than I thought. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'll uh, talk to you tomorrow, probably. Yes. Well, if we're going to visit to Paula, it's going to be pretty cool. So. I'll see you all, and uh, don't get sick, take good care of yourselves. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you all around. Bye! Hey, everybody! Welcome on Thursday of week seven. And as you can hear, we're out and about. And I'm wearing my new hat, and I'm on my way to the center of the city, downtown. Uh, I'm gonna actually meet my new mentor there. His name is uh, David. He's like a, a dude from uh, like a, a body. How do you say that? Well, anyway, the, the university like arranged something for us as exchange students, and uh, well, seems I'm gonna have someone who's gonna show me around. Now, today I actually got a little bit worse than last time. Uh, let me see which one. Yeah, my cold got worse. Uh, I woke up with a lot of pain this morning. I was actually quite nauseous. Still coughing a lot. I don't know what this is on my face, but it feels weird. Uh, and right now, I'm walking through this very nice neighborhood. Let me just show you a little bit around. Just 360. So, uh, I'm just making my way downtown. Not walking too fast. Not too many faces to pass. I'm not really homebound, but hey, who cares? <laughs> oh god, I really like that joke just now. Um, so yeah, I'm still kind of sick. Uh, I hope tomorrow will be a little bit better. Because, well, let me switch hand. Uh, tomorrow I will have to work on a group assignment with some classmates. And uh, oh, this neighborhood is really pretty, really guys. Nice. Just look at that. It's really nice. Um, some of you actually might recognize it. I made pictures here before. Let me just take this off. I made pictures here before. And, uh, yeah. With the snow, it always gives it a little bit of a magical feeling. It's pretty nice. Yes. I really hope you guys can hear me properly, because I have the feeling I'm kind of shouting right now at, the, at my phone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm making my way downtown to uh, Cafe Paris, which is actually a really nice coffee place. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna meet my mentor. Maybe I'll even make a couple of pictures, film a little bit in the cafe. Because uh, as far as I see, I'm gonna be a little bit early. So we're gonna see. So thank you for joining my short experience here in this beautiful neighborhood and cracking up my shoes. And uh, I'll see you all later. Yeah. Bye. Hey, everybody. It's Friday, and I'm on my way to the library. And, uh, well, yesterday's talk was actually really, really nice. Sadly, though, I didn't manage to make any good footage because I ran out of batteries. That's just amazing. Um, 
Um, so right now I am indeed on my way to the library to work on a group project with uh, two of my classmates. Uh, the snow has melted for a little bit. The weather is actually absolutely gorgeous. Just blue skies all around. And uh, I gotta say, I feel a lot better. There's a lot of Sorry. A lot better. And uh, yeah, I still have a nasty cough. Also, when breathing, I still kind of <laughs> feel it. But uh, can't complain, I guess. I can't complain. So I'll show you a little bit around. So we have a church, some trees, and here's uh, I think this is elementary school. And this is actually the school where Johanna used to go to when she was younger. So, it has been there for a little while. Um, I'm taking a little bit of a, a different route. I hope you guys can see me. The sun is just shining brightly. Just changed. There we go. Um, so as you can see, my hair is a little bit hidden. I slicked it all back today. And using the hat to keep myself a little bit warmer. But uh, there's an elementary school over there. There is another school over there, just beside the gray building. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, probably make some footage when I'm in the library. Even though it's not but, uh, I'll try to sneak in maybe some pictures and maybe some footage of my uh, group mates, if they like it at least. So, yeah. It's a bus, and it's still very windy, but I'll see you guys later. Well, update today, I uh, mainly stayed in bed, actually, and uh, just got dressed and uh, ready to go. I'm actually pretty hungry. I didn't eat breakfast, uh, so hopefully I can munch on something while I'm in the library, even though that's also not really allowed, so we'll just have to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys later and uh bye. Hi guys. Happy Valentine's Day. It's Saturday the 14th. And uh Johanna took me on the most romantic date ever. We are at Taco Bell. And I gotta say, I'm not even mad, because I like Taco Bell, we both kind of do. So uh, yeah, happy Valentine's Day. If you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, don't take him to Taco Bell. Don't support that idea, I don't think they will like that. <laughs> but I don't mind, so that's good, right? Uh, so I got myself this time a nacho supreme beef and just some regular fries and some soda and as usual the portion is a little bit disappointing and then emphasis on little it's kind of small like you look on the pictures uh, on the menu uh, there in the back and uh, everything just seems a lot larger on the pictures than they are in real life so a little bit disappointed but still, it looks, it looks pretty good. So, yeah. Cheers to you guys. Hope you guys have a, a wonderful Valentine's Day, even though if you're alone, treat yourself, go to a nice place, get some nice jewelry, go on Amazon.com or eBay or something and buy the stuff from your wish list. It's good for you, makes you happy. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, update tomorrow with a new vlog. And I'll make sure it's on time. So. Later!